the Awaken Leviathan guide. I think it's the one that everyone has been waiting for, and I hope I do not disappoint. Um, now, before we start, I just want to get a couple things out of the way. First, tiles marked B are where I cast Shadow Barrage. Second, tiles marked P are where I attack and proc specials. On screen, I'm showing you which tiles to use after barraging. These are the most optimal tiles to use for barraging and procking, and barraging anywhere else is fine, but will result in losing ticks. There is also no attack delay after casting a shadow barrage. You are able to attack with any weapon again right after you cast, and it's two ticks after barraging that all damage dealt is reduced until the special you procced ends. This means there is a one tick window after casting to attack the boss for full damage. Now I want you to picture yourself doing the lightning special. During these specials you have plenty of time to decide and calculate where you will be going for the next incoming boulder special. From 100 to 50% health, all boulder specials get placed on the black tiles. However, at 50% health, a shadow begins to chase you, and you will want to start using the coloured tiles to place boulders instead. By barraging on the corresponding coloured bees, you will be led to the correct coloured tiles. Whenever you finish lightning, you always have two barrage tiles left and another two barrage tiles right of you. So in this case, let's say I wanted to use the purple tiles, I am fine to do that. And if wanting to use the green tiles, not a problem. The orange tiles, you get the idea. And if you like beautiful symmetry, then I am sure you will like this. It doesn't matter where you start lightning, and it doesn't matter where you finish lightning because every side in the room has all four coloured bees perfectly spread around them. Let's get into it. At the start of every kill, the first special you get is random. You always want to assume that it is boulders first and check your chat box to see if it's lightning whilst on the way to the boulder tiles. If it does happen to be lightning, then instead run to the tile marked with a green tick. Wait for the lightning to pass over the yellow tile, which is an indicator of when to click over it and begin lightning running. However, we do have boulders first, and when reaching the start tile to any set of boulders, attack the boss, wait for the game sounds of the boulders to start falling, then move and attack the boss on every tile. You will also want to do an extra hit and move one tile past the tile markers. This allows you to not be tick perfect, as if you start moving a tick or two early, you will just end up placing a boulder there, which in every case is totally fine. Lightning special next, and as mentioned before, it doesn't matter where you barrage and proc for a lightning special, but I am pausing here on the tick I procced. I am going to show you multiple ways to start lightning every time without losing any ticks, whether there is a shadow chasing you or not. The short and easy way to explain this is you proc your first T-bow on any tile marked P, you do a second Tebow on any yellow marked tile, and a third on any usual start tile for lightning running. When there is no shadow chasing you, the setup shown on screen is perfect. However, doing three twisted bow hits on tiles this close together is not going to work when a shadow is chasing you. When a shadow is chasing you, the same rules apply for setting up, resulting in not losing ticks or having to react to the lightning. Your first twisted bow is still on the usual proc tiles. A further yellow tile is still reachable for the second T-bow, and then the third still on the usual lightning start tiles. 
you can even extend this and do it in four Tebow hits and keep running around to the next lightning start tile. The black arrow above the third Tebow hit is indicating it doesn't matter where you do the next hit as long as you don't lose any ticks doing it. There is also one rule you have to follow to make this work and that is you must always move clockwise after the second attack on a yellow tile. You can move anti-clockwise initially to a yellow tile but must switch to moving clockwise after hitting on any yellow tile. Going into 50% health now and this attack spawns the shadow chasing us. We have a lightning special neck so you will start seeing me use the post 50% methods for lightning mentioned earlier. And before we unpause, I'm going to switch to a different clip of what can go wrong if you are not paying attention to the HP of the boss. As well as show that sometimes no matter how hard you try, not everything goes to plan. In this clip the boss is about to go under 50% health and we have a boulder special coming up next. As I proc the special I should be going to the green tiles for post 50% boulders. Instead I do not notice the HP, go to the black tiles, have a really bad shadow spawn which causes me to immediately move and guess where to place boulders. Of course I end up tanking the shadow as well. And I just want to say here, thank god I was not recording audio at the time of this clip, because have a guess where this shadow respawns boys, I'll give you a couple of seconds. If you guessed under me, then give yourself a cookie, and let's be thankful there was no audio, because I can assure you my reactions and feelings at the time were something a little like this. No, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no, 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 hell no, 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 I 
refu- No! No! It wasn't the end of the world, but it was very annoying. We did also manage to recover back to 121 HP for the start of the next lightning special. Back to the main kill, lightning next and post 50% methods now. Don't forget to plan in lightning where you will be going for boulders. This is very important under 50% HP. Using the coloured tiles for post 50% boulders, I am no longer waiting for the game sound to go off and begin moving as soon as my Tebow fires on the start tile. The tiles marked with the green tick are optional tiles to attack on without losing any ticks, but you will want to keep your eye on how close the shadow is to you and judge whether to make the attack or not. The good thing about all of the coloured tiles for post 50% is you can start a few ticks early or a few ticks late. You can choose to attack once, twice or even not at all. Just as long as you click every tile whether attacking on them or not, you will be fine every time. When the boss goes under 23% health you want to stop attacking the boss until your next shadow barrage. If in a lightning special run laps around the boss just start running a big square till the lightning ends. If in a boulder special then just run the tiles and don't make an attack. However, when it is under 23%, it is time to start the Enrage. The tile marked EB stands for Enraged Barrage. The reason I start here is because when procking the Enraged, it takes 6 ticks for the Jellyfish to spawn, giving us boosted damage. By procking the Enrage on tile 2, and running to the blue Web Weaver tile and specking there as you reach it, you will be specking your web weaver on the first tick the jellyfish becomes active. Doing this allows you to do both web weaver specs and switch into Tebow before praying for the first attack in Enraged, whilst also creating a decent gap on the shadow as you get your specs off. I also bring a full void switch for the Enraged phase, um, as it increases the max hit of both web weavers and your twisted bow which is basically guaranteed with the boosted damage from the jellyfish. Um, I will let it play out the first time without saying anything and then we'll run it back in slow motion um, with a breakdown of what's happening in my mind during Enraged.
Okay, let's run that back. Segment by segment, I will break down what I'm doing and what I'm thinking. This first segment is just showing the first two Webweaver specs. I will pause as I wield my Tebow after firing the second spec. Also, the falling rock that I click for the second Webweaver spec. Basically, fuck that rock. As I click Tebow, I see the first attack. When praying for the first attack, you always want to move immediately after praying. Here, I pray range, click to move, then pray mage and attack the boss. Every time I see attack styles changing every tick, I focus praying back to back only. After moving, I pray range, mage, then move again. I see the oncoming range attacks here and I know I can pray ranged, attack the boss and then move. To back mage hits coming, so praying mage, then moving. Back to back range hits, same as before, pre range, then start moving and attack the boss. It really is nice when you have more than one of the same style in a row. Several mage hits in a row here, allowing me to move and attack without a problem. Remember what I said earlier about focusing when the attack style swaps every tick? Here, I only go to my prayer book. Pray ranged, then maged, then ranged, then move. Throughout all of that, I did not bring up the shadow chasing me, and that is because it doesn't exist. I never look or know where it is, and most skills I will end up moving enough that I naturally end up avoiding it. However, even in times when I do tank the damage, I carry on as if it did not happen. I continue to pray, continue to focus. Five or six twisted bow hits is all it takes after the web weaver specials are done. Remain calm. Remain focused, go in the enrage like a boss, with a yes, I am doing this attitude. Now, all that's left for me is to throw all my settings up on screen and play a full unedited version of the kill for anyone who would like to watch it without me pausing and talking.
Fire, 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 fire. 